Being an Instagram model can be very lucrative for a young woman. It can get her a lot of attention. And a lot of attention can equal a lot of money. Cha-ching sound effect. And even having a lot of money is one thing, but it can also get you a lot of popularity. And popularity can lead you into entrepreneurship opportunities. I mean, like look at Logan Paul and Jake Paul. Their popularity on YouTube let them into boxing. And the same thing with Kim Kardashian. It led her into all kinds of brand deals and her own leggings companies. And if you look at people like Amber Rose and Lizzo, all of this is basically for me popular on social media, stop the show. I'm popular on YouTube and I'm still broke. Can I get a, ooh, sound effect? Oh! Rewind Nima. But these two ladies were also very, very popular on Instagram. One lady is Melissa Dufour and the other is Raquel Antiola of Van Nuys. And listen, th listen these, these ladies are good looking, right? Very beautiful. but. Unfortunately, they were going someplace on a traffic stop. And um, yeah, they ended up in Alabama where they got pulled over. And let's play that clip and see what happened. Millions of dollars worth of cocaine confiscated on I-10 in Mobile County. Two women, one from Florida and one from California, faced drug trafficking charges. Mobile County deputies say they stopped Melissa Dufour and Raquel Antolio on the interstate. The women reportedly told them they were on their way to Atlanta from Houston. A narcotics canine signaled drugs in their SUV, and when deputies searched it, they reportedly found hidden traps in the floorboard and side walls with 217 pounds of cocaine worth $2.1 million. Both of those women are in Metro jail. But stop the show, Diva. Rewind! I want to get back to one of the two ladies here, Melissa Dufour, because I typed in, stop the show, type in sounds, Diva. I typed her name in on YouTube and I came across some interesting information. Yeah, because see, this young lady was an entrepreneur. She herself were going, you know, she was going on to um, big time shows, TV shows, promoting um, a particular brand that she started. Let's check it out on this clip. This first guest takes feeling sexy while working out to a whole different level, offering all kinds of comfortable, vibrant, and of course, sexy workout wear. Y'all please help me welcome Miss, uh, Miss Melissa Dufour. Melissa dressed me today. Yes. How's she looking, everybody? <laughs> oh my goodness, talking about sexy, I had to put a leather jacket on over this. <laughs> so Melissa, of course, welcome to the show. Thank you for um, having me. What made, you're welcome. What made you want to start Sexy Sweats? Well, there's a lot of reasons. First of all, I would say passion. Mm -hmm. um, passion for being a fashion designer, you know what I'm saying, and following what I really love to do. Um, second, I would say being a go-getter. Um, mm -hmm. I had to really take a leap of faith when my back was against the wall. Yes. And during this journey with Sexy Sweats, um, the birth of Sexy Sweats came about when I lost my job as a waitress in the mm. nightclub. Then fast forward to that, I lost my job during the pandemic and oh I became a full-time entrepreneur. So with that... Um, so did you become inspired to do sexy... Um, fitness wear because you also work out in the gym because you look like yes. you live in the gym. Yes, I work out about five <laughs> days out the week. Five days, y'all. <laughs> oh but my I goodness. come from an athletic background. I ran track in high school. I was on the girls weightlifting team. Oh my goodness. Soccer, all of that. So you know that we need all these amazing clothes. Right. And you know that we need to be sexy, not yes. just sweaty, right? Exactly. I love it. <laughs> so <laughs> Sexy Sweats takes more of a fashionable approach. Tell us about your design. 
minds. Okay. Well, I don't know if you guys are familiar with athleisure, but that's like yes. the new trend. Yes. So with that being oh. said, well, check it out. Look okay. Yes. <laughs> it's everything. With that being said, I was ahead of the game before I even knew what athleisure was. Wow. You know? So I was like, you know what? What about if I can create my own brand, mm -hmm. making like bold statements, vibrant colors, patterns, daring designs, you know? and just make it my own style. So you created all yes, of these. Yes, I hand sketched all my wow. pieces. Wow. So they're super exclusive. So yeah, guys, she was on that particular weave and sandal show called the Sassandra Show. And I I mean, that, that lady is completely dusty. But anyways, um, she, she's, she's on the show and she's promoting that particular brand that she's trying to do. And again, just looking at her, you're, you're thinking like, wow, you know, this is great. She's an entrepreneur. But she did mention that she came across somewhat some hard times, right? She lost her job, um, you know, in the in the uh, food industry, lost her job again in COVID. So it forced her to go into the legging business. But she forgot to tell one last thing. Stop the show. Because wasn't nobody buying that stuff, right? She forgot to, to say that she was selling drugs to people, drug trafficking. Stupid. But pretending to act like she's such a hardworking entrepreneur. And see, this is something that I want to talk about, right? Now, as far as being a young lady and, you know, wanting to look nice and have nice things, you see, the, re the reality is, is that a lot of these ladies are looking for the fast life right now. You don't want to really work and get into the industry and, and, and do what you need to do. No. You want to go on and pretend like you're actually an entrepreneur on on social media and on on tv when really you're a damn drug dealer and these are the same people that are telling ladies you know yeah um you know sad music you girls don't work hard enough you need to work harder you're not working you're not trying hard enough you know just stick with it but but your ass is not sticking with it because you're out here doing something illegal for the money and you're out here weaving and sailing up and now your ass is going to be working out all day and in in all night in jail and this is this um and it's so funny because i went to the comment section of this particular video and it goes uh uh this person kala lugos entrepreneur describes her perfectly she was almost two million up <laughs> this other person says she's going to be working out seven days a week now yeah working out in prison all right working out in prison and the thing is so many people are chasing you know these you know unrealistic lifestyles like a lot of these ladies that are on social media who are pretending they have made it you know they're they're, they're taking nice trips they're doing nice things they're not telling you that they're really doing illegal things their money is coming from an unknown source because that particular business that she has is probably no way that she's making any money right it just started she's already lost money she got fired so she's trying to make money and she's trying to gain clout on social media doing anything for money and a lot of young women get caught up in the fast life. You know, you want money. You don't really want to work for the money and you, you want to do the wrong thing. And what's so crazy is so many ladies are out here judging themselves to women like this, like, oh, she has this, she has that. Well, why don't I have this? Or why don't I have that? And you're not telling people that you're, if you're not selling the box, yeah, that you're out here actually doing the wrong goddamn thing. You're not being honest. And that goes for men too. That's what, this is what I call people who are fake rich. You see guys, uh, story time music to actually get a lot of money um, in life. Typically it's hard work, right? Like for me, I've been on YouTube for damn near going on the decade now. I have worked almost every day of those eight years and I'm still broke, right? But you, you, you're you gonna have to go through the growing pains of doing things the right way. There is no shortcuts to success. And a lot of times, like I said, when we, you know, have these women out here and some of these men who are trying to do the same thing to impress people or to live a lifestyle that you don't want to work for, it always comes back when you're going to take your ass to jail or when you're out here taking your ass to prison or when you're going your ass to the feds, you know, and this was just 10 months ago. But hey, that one mistake cost her a lot just so she can get some money and trick it off and be in the club. Now, what does it feel like now? Now that they ain't locked your ass up. All right now that you're going to be out there dusty now that you're going to be in there next to pukisha in jail cell d so guys what do you think it's your boy 
O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Richard, your father, you describe it to Bell. We're out. <laughs>